Welcome to Draga, where we tell a dumb story using even dumber drawings. I am your drawing master, Caldwell Tanner, joined by Legsy, Regina, and Roxa, AKA the Ladies Book Club. Friends, how are we today? Frightened? Bad. Frightened. I think, yeah, yeah bad. It's, there's a snake. Oh, because of the snake. Yeah. The yeah. enormous snake that's coming for you. Yeah, not a fan. Mm. Decided. Thought I'm also, about it. Yeah. I thought you liked that. That was a gift. Covered in I'm bee stings, it. full mm -hmm. of cat food. Is oh, yeah. <laughs> Last I checked. You were in a bad way. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't think I'm at full health to, in, in <laughs> no. RPG speak. We're not keeping track of HP no, per se, but, but uh, in, uh, in fiction, I think. You're at about three. Yeah, <laughs> not doing great. Um, well, all right, let's see exactly how bad you're doing right now. I'm going to give us a quick recap. Let's go. So if you'll recall, you arrived at Yggdrasil and helped a cat food enthusiast named the Cat Goddess rescue three of her feline companions from the tree's dizzying heights. Cat Goddess 99. Cat Goddess 99 specifically, as referenced by her 99 cats. Although now she has 98 cats because after you helped her, she awarded you her smallest and least favorite cat, <laughs> Parker. <laughs> Roxa and Lexi were thrilled to add a new member to the Ladies Book Club crew. Yes. Regina, less enthused. You guys are dumbasses. <laughs> <laughs> uh, regardless, with the mission complete, you three decided to call it a night. However, right as you made to leave, a giant serpent erupted from the earth and started slithering towards you at lightning speed. Oh, shit. Yeah, basically. <laughs> We're so tired. <laughs> if I could sum it up. You really hit that oh shit. I mean, it's important. It's really good. <laughs> I feel like you got it encapsulated. <laughs> it is the mood of the day. Um, even worse, this is no ordinary giant snake. This is, of course, Nidhogg, the serpent who devours the world. Of course. Mm -hmm. Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> <laughs> it's episode three. Let's go big, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and speaking of Nidhogg, the serpent that swallows the world, I think it would be helpful for you to see what you're up against. So I'm actually gonna slap on my glove here. Oh, it's happening. And do a bad job of it. <laughs> that was the least, wow. the least good way you could have done that. On Inside Out. Oh, just you wait. <laughs> Have you ever and drawn a thing? <laughs> never once. It's all been lies and artifice. Uh, yeah, but. Long story short, I'm gonna draw Nidhogg, uh, and you're just gonna have to watch me do that. Wow, I didn't even use my god pen. Save it, this one's free. Ooh. Um, as you are trying to leave, you see this serpent slithering towards you. Um, what does it look like? Why don't you help me uh, rough in this this beast? Big. Okay, big. So it's a big, a big snake. Snakey. Mm -hmm. Snakey, meaning like, no limbs. No, well? Not even. Oh. <laughs> one? May, yeah, maybe one. Maybe, maybe one. one. If we get one, just one little hand. Yeah, for grabbing what he's going to devour. <laughs> Do, all right. One little hand, but like, is it, what sort of hand? Is it long? A little, a little hand. A yeah. little baby hand. hand. Make yeah. it real chunky a like little, a baby hand. A little, yeah. oh yeah. A so, chunky okay. baby's arm with a, with a baby's hand on the end. Where is this chunky baby's arm? <laughs> like, is it like a, a horn? I think it's it's, it's right like under its chin, I think. Yeah, you right. Know? Oh, like a little to goatee. Lift things in. Like one of the like an Egyptian god, but it's a yes. little it's a little arm. But it is a baby's hand. Yeah. yeah. It's a baby's arm and hand. That's absolutely the correct you know, answer. In all of mythology, I don't think I have ever seen that. I don't think I've ever seen that incorporated into a monster design. Well, that's uh, because Nidhogg, you know, you don't see no one who's seen Nidhogg lives to tell the tale. Exactly. Right? So yeah. this is this is what Nidhogg looks like. If they could tell the tale, they would definitely mention the baby's hand <laughs> coming out of its chin. He uh, had a baby's hand. <laughs> you like coming out of his mouth? No. Like where arms go? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. I Boy, think. Oh, I just want to pinch it. A lot of people find like the the rolls on a on a chunky baby cute. I just think like I want to like deflate them. I want to like help them out. <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't have a child. I <laughs> <laughs> you want to deflate them like emotionally or no? Or I want to like take them to like a baker and have them knead out those rolls. Uh huh. Yeah, that's you not. Know? That's not a you natural tell impulse. You should people that. Yeah. Okay. Keep right. that one to yourself. It's just it's too much. Um, so yeah, look it, normal. A snake face. Uh huh. I think it's real sort of uh, skeevy. Yeah. Skeevy. Okay. Yeah. Kind of oh, like that. Yeah. This is this is a real. Sh He's like, I'm gonna eat the world. <laughs> See, I I feel like a snake that eats worlds has doesn't have a need to be skeevy. There's no like subterfuge here. It's gonna come and eat the world. And you can't do anything about it. 
It's gonna make you feel bad about it, yeah, though. Yeah, this is your fault. <laughs> <laughs> you messed up the world and now I gotta eat it. I love how bad the world is. Um, you fucked it up and now I'm just gonna chomp down on it. You know what, I love water bottles. <laughs> 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 Thanks for just leaving them everywhere, gang. You didn't recycle. <laughs> Here I come. Mm, batteries. <laughs> you sure used a lot of batteries. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to just chomp down on those. It's like sushi to me. <laughs> this is definitely his voice. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to having many conversations with this fun new character we're creating. Absolutely. I think what happens is Nidhogg does just like come up to you. And again, they're so confident. They're so brash. Like. They don't have to worry about anything. They're the serpent that swallows the world. Yeah. I think they just come up and like bend down their long head and just start shaking your hands individually with their little baby with arm. Baby arm. Yeah. Hi there. I'm Nidhog. Oh hey. I'm gonna eat the earth. R right now? What? I mean, you know, in the in the next day or so. Okay. What? If, what if you didn't? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you just. What if you didn't? Huh? <laughs> I I got it. Maybe it's like, it's maybe like, don't. It's my whole thing. You could not. I, I feel like I'd get in trouble. From who? <laughs> who? I don't know, it's like an instinct thing. You know, just how animals are born with instincts. So you'd get in trouble with your instincts? I would just, you know, I would personally feel bad about it. Like, you know how it's kind of like my whole thing that I've been working towards and like, you know, nobody would get mad if I didn't eat the world, but I'd be upset with myself. It's it's like a personal goal that I've set. And if I like didn't follow through on it, I just feel like, I'd go home and I'd be like, huh, man, you really, really just let yourself down, Nidhogg. You know, I kind of get that. Yeah, no, I get yeah. that, actually. Yeah. I yeah. do sympathize with that. Is he part tree? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, because he was the roots. He was the roots, so I think he's probably got like a little bit of like a granular wooden texture. Oh, that's what he's, some knots. Can we get some knots on there? Absolutely, yeah. some knots. Good. Can we get like one owl sticking out of one of those <laughs> knots? <laughs> absolutely. Thank you. Where would the owl be? I'm going to add some like gnarling up here. He's just, his head's poking out of one of the knots. Yeah, maybe like right here? Yeah. That's, that's, a, just that's like, a big owl. <laughs> that is I a big mean, owl. I don't know a ton about Norse mythology, but there's probably a big owl. There's yeah. gotta be, right? <laughs> there's gotta yeah. be at least one big owl. I am sure that there's like a big owl that Loki got pregnant at one point or another. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna add like a little blush because this owl's like, ooh, I wonder where Loki's at. <laughs> Loki said he was coming over today. <laughs> <laughs> Loki said that Ragnarok was going to be our first date. <laughs> I would love to see how this snake looked with a person's ear. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> ah, my ears are burning. I hear you've been talking about me. And one we definitely little, haven't. One little, like, stud in it. <laughs> what do you think about my diamond? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like this a lot. Needhog's in a boy band now. <laughs> this is how Needhog hears which planets need to be devoured from across the cosmos. <laughs> Look at this asshole. <laughs> he became so much worse. <laughs> what about like a hat? Okay, what sort of hat are we thinking? I don't know, beanie? A beanie? Yeah. All right. It goes okay. with the, the earring. I was just making this into like some Instagram celebrity's boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up, is a, a K-pop star. <laughs> I wish he I wish he could be wearing like some chunky tennis shoes somehow. Put one on the end. Yeah, just put one <laughs> right on that, just like upside down on that stump. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Chunk that shoe up. Hey, I just realized we're probably gonna have to redraw the snake. Why is that? You know, maybe, I don't know. If we have a drawing challenge, we might have to draw this guy in. I'm just Maybe. taking a guess. Maybe. Wow. Roxa. Taking some initiative there. Did you surprisingly you no insightful? You, you noticed a pattern <laughs> of events that we have to take. And you drew a conclusion from it. I'm proud of you. Good Thanks. job. Wow. Can I add a wisdom point to my? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Roll a d20, and if you get like a, a nat 20, I will let you add a wisdom point. Here it comes. Well, that's a 10. That's a 10. 10. That's, that's half. That's Can half. I get like half point point? 0.5 of a, of a wisdom point? Mm, I think you're like making the connections. Your, your neurons are firing, but mm. they're not quite there yet. Uh. It seems more like you lucked yourself into a conclusion as opposed to actually figuring anything out. 
Um, all right, well, I'm I, feeling good about Nidhogg here. I appreciate that he's taking the time to talk with us before devouring us and all of our well, friends and, and relatives in it, the world. It's mostly just like overconfidence, I think. I don't yeah. think you should feel too good about it. I'm gonna feel good about you it. You know what, and that's your right. I am go gonna get devoured. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna feel good about it. That's your right and that's your prerogative. Yeah. Um, does anyone else have anything to say to Nidhogg before he eats you all? Um, I'm honestly more intimidated by Nidhogg yeah. now that they look like a cool teen. <laughs> <laughs> like the world devouring serpent part was scary, but yeah. now I'm like a little nervous because I want to seem cool. I am going to put a uh, a little uh, vape pod in their baby hand. Oh, even cooler. <laughs> That's what the baby hand's for. For holding the little vape. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that rig. And we just got some like smoke billowing out of here. The <sighs> serpent who vapes the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he's gonna do it. He's gonna delve <laughs> into the Earth's core and heat up the biggest vape possible. Dang. Oh my <laughs> That's God. That's really cool. The sickest, thickest clouds. Yeah, you guys went in on this? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> if I could. Yeah. You you take a hit of his vape and um, memories of the entire history of the world pass before your eyes in a single Oh, too blink. much, too much. <laughs> It's pretty strong. It's pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got that. <laughs> so after what feels like, honestly, too much small talk with Nidhogg, uh, the serpent who wants to just ruin and remove all of existence, uh, the snake finally rears back and starts to devour you. Sorry, you know, part of the job. I, you know, I, I'd feel weird if I didn't do it. I feel weird about doing it. It is what it is. Yeah, it's like holding in a sneeze. Hey. You got the right idea. Uh, they open up their massive jaws. However, before you can even roll initiative, you see, don't do it. Don't do. Don't roll it. Don't. Do, it's you can't. There's no time. Things are happening very fast. You see, three quick flashes appear behind the serpent. Oh boy! It's the cats. And a moment later. <laughs> They're the, back. The cats came close back rocks. to save us. <laughs> so close. Parker! Sarah and Jessica, return! Go, go. <laughs> Let me just throw out my notes. <laughs> you see three quick flashes appear behind the serpent, and a moment later you hear the slicing of bone and the spurting of blood as Nidhogg's head slides clean off its body. Oh, wow. Them cat claws are real ah, sharp. Dang! Oh, somebody put my vape in my mouth. Oh, one last vape. What, 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 what? <laughs> no one? Uh, fine, I'm dead. Fuck you. <laughs> Universal sound of vaping. That's what it sounds like when you're trying to vape, but you have, but you cannot vape. Yeah. When you I have no lungs, your head is separated. Yeah. I have no vape, and I must. What? <laughs> and with that, mm -hmm. Nidhogg's body begins to dissolve into the soil. Do we level up? You do not. You didn't do shit. <laughs> Come on. We distracted him. He would have totally not been so easily defeated had he not been talking to us. It was a valuable distraction. But as you're discussing whether you did anything or not, you see the three uh, heroes that actually saved the day <laughs> land right in front of you in perfect three-point stances. Ooh. I will feel yes. them now. Do the cats level up? <laughs> Cats aren't there. <laughs> the cats left. Parker is still there, yeah. um, and Parker absolutely levels up. Um, nice. If you want to track Parker's skills, Parker, I guess, I'll is now level Parker's two. I'll track Parker's skills, yeah. I was fully planning to throw Parker into the Nidhogg's mouth, <laughs> so we dodged that one. Dodged that bullet for sure. Uh, you see the three heroes that actually saved the day land in front of you. The Verified. The there Verified Knights. The three Verified Knights appear. Boom, they land in perfect three-point stances. You see that these are actually the ones from the video call you had with Ludwig, uh, the one standing in the background. Um, so they land kind of, you know, huh, yeah, all right. High five each other. They're pumped about the job they just did. Uh, and then they, they notice you. Uh, in fact, the, the short one steps forward and says, huh, that was a close shave, huh, gang? And then the horned one responds, too true. Anyone for snake hmm, sashimi? <laughs> and then you see the big one laughs and goes, ha, 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 no thanks. I already ate lunch today. Oh, no, they suck. <laughs> oh, I thought, no. I thought, they were, I thought that was pretty good, Doctor. Oh, hey, oh, so sorry, friends. Uh, where are our manners? Hi, I'm Lester. Charmed, I'm Jean. 
And I say my name now. You see, Lester goes, <laughs> that's, that's Rick. His name is Rick. <laughs> and, and of course, uh, together, we are Questly's number one crime-fighting, quest-busting, adventuring trio, the Movie Night Boys. <laughs> they all pose. <laughs> People just show up from out of nowhere to take photos of them for some reason. Someone just hands Gene a baby. He's just holding a baby now. Aw, <laughs> oh, a baby. <laughs> just holds it aloft. People are taking photos. There's so many Instagrams going up. They are just trending off the charts. People are coming to see that they have saved the day from this enormous serpent. Uh, so like cameras are flashing everywhere, but they seem interested in, in chatting with you guys. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, I'll take that sashimi, if <laughs> that was available. Oh. Yeah, that was more of like a joke. Is this, that... It's made of wood, are you... There, is there no... Did you not bring sashimi? Well, yeah, I mean, I do have some sashimi on me. It was from my lunch, but if you want some, I can share it, obviously. Yeah, no, I'll take it. Is that a ponzu? Yeah, it's a little... All right, yeah, I've got ponzu, I've got... <laughs> Tuna, mm. um, there's like some fatty tuna and regular tuna. Yum. I got like a full platter, honestly, yeah. You know what, everyone come on over, let's have some sushi. That's way some. better than cat food. <laughs> Why would you eat cat food? It was offered. <laughs> you just eat anything that's offered to you? When I'm full of bee poison. A lot's been going on today. It's, it's been I, a big one. I still, still need to go to Legsy? the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Last we left off, I was carrying Legsy under one arm. Oh my goodness, you're, arm. you're poisoned. Yeah. Hold on, Lester, administer the antidote. Uh, you see Lester comes over and just gets like five EpiPens, holds them Wolverine style, and just goes doo, 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 doo. Oh, that was rad. <laughs> hey, thanks. <laughs> you feeling better? I feel great. Uh, Lester helps you to your feet. Thank you so much. You guys need any heels or anything? Are you okay? I'm good. I barfed a bit. Yeah, I see that. You want like, <laughs> uh, I don't know, like a Pepto-Bismol or something? Maybe some ginger ale? No, I'm all right. You I see. love ginger ale. Okay, hey. <laughs> I always carry two. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Don't need to have a tummy ache to enjoy some delicious fizzy ginger beverage. <laughs> That's what we always say. <laughs> wow. <laughs> These guys are cool. No, they're not. <laughs> they're pretty cool. You see that Rick says, ginger ale's too spicy for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rick's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Lester shakes each of your hands and says, hey, thanks for handling that uh, triple cat fiasco back there. Turns out by rustling all those branches and then just fully deboning that squirrel, mm -hmm. you accidentally awoke Nidhogg, which is great because we've been trying to take that guy down for ages. You really saved us a lot of trouble. Hmm. It's true, it's no wonder that Lutvig selected you for verification. Uh, you've got the stuff. Ding. Wow. I Thanks. don't have any stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rick. <laughs> I live under a bridge. D oh. By oh. choice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> as long as you're into it. Each their own, I guess. <laughs> it is not my own. It is owned by the state. Okay. It is a bridge. It was a, it's an expression. <laughs> <laughs> I have one expression. It's, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> um, Can we does... see him making that face through the mask? Or <laughs> you just... absolutely cannot. Okay, it's just, it's just very clear that that's the face that he's yeah, making. He, okay. he tilts his head in such a way that like you just get the feeling that that is the face okay, he's making. Okay, good. <laughs> and he like thinks you can see his face too. Yeah. He's not, not the brightest bulb. No, I, I think he's yeah. really... <laughs> Of these three, he is definitely the Parker. Okay. <laughs> uh, anyway, so we've got to run to our next mission, but uh, hopefully we'll see you around. I mean, best of luck, right? I, yeah. I hear that uh, y'all are y'all are really tearing it up on on Questly. Yeah, put in a good word oh, for us. Oh, it, it, it seems like you guys are pretty popular. Yeah, it's true. On account of all the photos being taken. <laughs> yeah, like people are just blasting them with photos left and right. Um, somebody hands Gene another baby. He's got two babies now. Wow. That's mm. too many. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for this responsibility. He starts juggling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, well, absolutely put in a word with Ludwig. Uh, Y'all are killing it. Sweet. Yeah. Thanks. We did do that cat thing pretty good. You did, did the, the cat thing yeah. real good. All right, well, uh, nice to meet you all. Uh, let's get a, you know, let's get a handshake, you know, for the, the blog, obviously, for, uh, the social, for Ludwig and, uh, for Questly Social. It's all, you know, everybody smile, face the camera. Ching, 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 ching. 
Uh, all right, so y'all pose for some photos with them. Uh, and then once you've kind of gotten enough pictures, once you've gotten enough ops, uh, Lester says, movie night, boys, away! And then he just holds the pose for a second, and then Rick's like, oh! And Rick grabs uh, Lester and Gene under his arms and just, like, runs off into the woods. <laughs> so cool. <laughs> and they're gone. I don't think he handed those babies back. <laughs> <laughs> He's still juggling them. Oh, wait, no! <laughs> Hold on! Two tight spirals <laughs> instantly land into the uh, the cradles where they were placed, where they were taken from. You know, they may be lame as shit, <laughs> but they sure are capable. <laughs> and I'll give them that. Something to be said for people being lame but capable. Yeah. If you could be dumb but cool or lame but capable, which would you choose? Dumb but cool, 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and I wouldn't realize how dumb I am. I don't know but why I'd still be asked. cool. <laughs> um, so yeah, it seems like. You've completed your mission here, uh, and then also got to witness an even cooler mission be completed, which is kind of fun. Um, is there anything else you want to do at Yggdrasil before you head back home? So I was wrong about the snake drawing. Yeah. Absolutely. You got instantly proven wrong. Yeah, that's right. I got you! <laughs> yes! DM, you know what? Give me a skill point. Mark it down. I got one skill point, and now I can, uh, I have uh, Raz Away, which is an ability where I can just fucking tear into you once a day wow. for how dumb you are at my I already my had game. to make a box for Parker. I don't have room for that on my <laughs> <laughs> Um Sorry, dude. Um, yeah, I guess if you want to uh, claim some of this snake carcass uh, that's rotting into the ground as your prize, you can do that. Can I take the, the giant gem earring? <laughs> that I made you draw. <laughs> you made me draw it, and now it exists, and now it's yours. Yay, uh, I'm and adding it to my inventory. Hell yeah. Um, as you, you know, of course, you're not getting paid for these missions, so yeah, looting corpses is probably a good strategy, honestly. I take the baby hand. <laughs> you take the baby hand? Yeah, I take the baby hand. And it's covered in flesh, are you sure about that? Yeah, you never knowingly need a good baby hand. Yeah, but I thought you weren't, you didn't do so well about like flesh the on flesh top of The flesh won't stay bones. on there forever. Thinking ahead, I love Thinking it. Thinking ahead. <laughs> I try to take the owl. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Roxa just I'm waiting for a date. crouches and tries to sneak up on Leave it. Leave me be! <laughs> uh, do you want to do a cunning roll to see if you take the owl? Yeah, okay. I got a 17. <laughs> <laughs> do you want an owl? <laughs> No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> just wanted to know that you could. Yeah. <laughs> you pick up the owl. He's like, what are you doing? Put me down. And you put it down. It's like, oh, OK. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me and treating me with respect. Uh, what's your name, Mr. Owl? <laughs> no, my name is Pellets. That's great. That's cool. Anyway, have a good one. OK, you too. <laughs> you Enjoy that okay. date. What a valuable interaction we've had. <laughs> <laughs> is an owl named Pellets like a person named Poops? I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it is exactly like that. Oh, you're still here. Oh. <laughs> I can fly, I'm following you. <laughs> Have you seen Loki? I want to fuck him. Certainly mm. not. Let's leave. Okay. Yeah, let's, get, let's get out of here. Loki! You hear the owl screaming for Loki. So um, desperate. As you, He's as not going <laughs> to respond to that. You might be right. I'm coming on a little strong. Will you He's go? Got, He's got <laughs> such good hearing. <laughs> owl starts hawking up pellets, its namesake. Um, and that's the last thing you hear as you head uh, back towards uh, the grubway on your way home. The bug train clicks and clacks its way gently down the track, uh, receding into the inky blackness of the nights, uh, and back towards the dingy studio apartment you call home. And with that, we are going to speed things up with a montage. Ooh. Oh boy. That's right. So for this segment, I want to show the passage of time uh, and show that your dedication to becoming Verified Knights has intensified over time. So basically what's gonna happen is each of you are going to complete a quest on your own, mm -hmm. uh, and we're gonna use that to show time passing and you all getting stronger and just clearing more and more quests. So these can be quests that you've gone on together, but each of you will be drawing one of the quests. Uh, Y'all excited to do a little montage? Montage. Yeah, let's do it. Montage. 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 Let's get strong. Let's become yes. the best Questly associates we can be. Let's roll initiative. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That's a nine. I got a 10. I got Ooh. a 19. Hey, wow. all right. Look at that. Uh, so 19, 9, 10. Perfect. Uh, Legzy, you want to go first? Sure. Awesome. 
So again, uh, these for this montage, this can be any quest you want to go on. Um, I'm just saying that like a lot of requests have been coming in through the app as your rating has risen. Mm -hmm. So you kind of have your pick of the litter at this point. So um, I mentioned this before, but Legzy, uh, just because of her size, mm -hmm. I get tasked with a lot of just sort of fitting into tight places. Sure. Because uh, people, people, people always be dropping their valuables mm. through rifts. Literal rifts between dimensions. Yeah. Oh, okay. So... And is that really something you're capable of uh, pursuing? I mean, I've been doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Should you be going into other dimensions? I don't know. Questly doesn't have health care. That's true. Yeah. You kind of have a lot of leeway uh, on account of that fact. The fact yeah, that you are I not mean, a full employee. I should I should probably get checked out because of all the bee stings, but I'm not gonna. Mm -hmm. The bee yeah, stings, the uh, the rifts into uh, other dimensions and time and space that you're just constantly going through. How are you making these rifts? Uh, the rifts show up. I just go through them. Okay, and people are like, oh no, I, I lost my wedding ring in there. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So I think yeah, wedding ring that's a pretty common one. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Let's have that. It's gonna get what what sort of wedding ring is it? Is it like a weird one? Yeah, it's like a you know one of them. <laughs> One of them rings of power. <laughs> oh, sure. You know? Oh, so maybe like two barbarians were getting married and uh, they presented a, a ring of power to the other uh, the other person in the relationship. Yeah. To like cement the cement their dedication. That's and really then they nice. They wrestled. And then they did <laughs> and then they did the ceremonial uh wrestle vows. Will you spar forever with me? <laughs> of you course. know it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. <laughs> so again, the rifts just appear. Yeah. This is a fantasy world. Rifts mm -hmm. appear. Rifts do appear. There, I mean, you know, sometimes demons come through. Sometimes otherworldly abominations. Here, uh, here's the thing about Somerica. Mm -hmm. Rifts everywhere. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a big problem. There's honestly too many ley lines. <laughs> it's like potholes. <laughs> yeah. And like everyone keeps complaining, like the local government should do something about it. Yeah. Like all these rifts. Parker mm -hmm. keeps voting against measures to do <laughs> anything about the Parker's rifts. Parker's politics. I just don't think he understands. <laughs> He doesn't read enough, but he still feels like he should be voting. He still feels like he should pick the wrong decision every time. I've specifically heard Parker say that he goes in there and just kind of picks randomly. Just picks the then funniest Then you'd think name. like at least 50-50 he'd choose good sometimes, <laughs> but he never does. No, he's got bad luck when it comes to that, unfortunately. So uh, while Legsy is out on her quest, um, what are y'all doing back in the apartment? Gina's uh, catching up on her um, lounging and posing. Okay. And um, just having like, we can't afford cable. Certainly not. We don't get paid, as we've established. No. I don't know how we afford to live in this apartment at all. You've done a pretty good job at uh, looting corpses, just kind of like being given things. Sure. Uh, I imagine you make tips on occasion from your Questly jobs. Uh, Roxa made $100 doing some freelance construction. That's true, we're really counting on that to get us through this <laughs> month, so please don't spend it on sandwiches. Please. Did you? Your silence speaks volumes. <laughs> I may have bought many tiny cat jerseys. <laughs> you have those a new jerseys, obsession. Just, those jerseys are very expensive. I'm picturing you go into Roxa's room. You're like, hey, uh, that $100 is all we have for this month, so it's really going to have to strip. And then you see that Roxa and Parker are wearing matching jerseys. <laughs> Customized. Bought him a little suit <laughs> to match my my work outfit. That's so cute. So maybe if we have to go to work together. Exactly. You know, he's dressed professionally. You're just like putting the tie on and being like, I don't know why we wear this. I don't know. I don't understand. I think it's for when stuff gets rough and you got to tape up your hands, mm -hmm. you know, so you don't injure them. Here's the thing about wearing a tie. The minute you take it off, it more business is getting done. Mm -hmm. It's like... The tie is like your limiter. And then like when you take it off, it's like, oh shit, things are about to get serious now. That's it's time for real business. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I've gathered so far. Gina, getting any bites on those poses? Uh, no bites on the poses. The drone festival's over. Unfortunately, yes. Not as many fly-by bone gnome drones <laughs> anymore. Um, but so Gina's kind of just laying on the couch and she's like having her skeletons like perform. Okay. For her. Aww. And so like to everyone else, it just looks like they're kind of like rattling around and they just hear like rattling bone jangling noises. Sure. But then occasionally Gina's like, Rodrigo, how could you? <laughs> to Sophia of all the of all people. She trusted you. <laughs> so there's a bone soap opera going yeah, on. Yeah, there's a bone soap opera going on. Um, and it's been going on for a long time. Have you ever thought about uh, taking that public? Well, like I said, it, it really is just rattling. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people aren't into that. Mm. Oh no. 
Oh that's, no, it's that's just, just a foot in there, huh? There, yeah. You're All in some sort of, of chaos dimension. I'm in a weird sort of gross body horror dimension. Mm -hmm. Are these uh, appendages talking to you? Yeah, in sort of like an unknowable yeah. chaos language. They're just like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and you can't understand it, but they're saying, "We found this ring. Doesn't we just want it? <laughs> we need the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's been tight this month." <laughs> We spend a lot of money on cat jerseys. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a trend. It. It's going around <laughs> these days. Cat jerseys are a big thing uh, in some America these days. Yeah. Specifically in Philadelphia, it's all the rage. You see people wearing like pet jerseys, matching jerseys with their pets. Maybe that would help your Instagram. I'm not sure how your Instagram plan works, but. <laughs> well, I mean, I like I don't have. Right. Yeah. Maybe if I wore them and Parker wore it, and then. Right. Maybe if you walked around with Parker mm -hmm. and you coordinated outfits. Maybe then more. But then I have to spend time with Parker, and I don't think anything is worth. <laughs> Maybe having Parker to do that. makes bad decisions because no one spends time with him enough to really talk. Gina, stop listening. Parker uh, sits on your shoulder and puts his butthole just like right in your face. <laughs> do you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, if you talk it's to this him all more, the time, if you interact with him more, he'll learn from you. I don't know what Parker's face looks like. <laughs> I've only ever seen butthole and heard that horrible <laughs> noise. <laughs> And you brought this thing into our home. Mm. Oh gosh, there's just even more hands. There's just even more, and a mouth. I don't think you're getting that ring back. Yeah, this is. I'm doing. No, I'm. I'm gonna get it. I'm a little concerned. You can see this reach. Is this gonna be a moment where you're like reaching, reaching, reaching? The portal's closing, and at the last minute you hook it. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, it's it's for uh you know for style points. Oh, big time style points. And I think all of these uh, chaos monsters are gonna be very impressed. Yeah. By, <laughs> by your heist. So you're getting to do a heist. This is kind of the closest I'm getting to heist work. Mm. So, Lexi, while you're in this dimension uh, attempting this heist, mm -hmm. uh, something strange, something coincidental happens. Something strange happens something in this dimension? Something strange <laughs> happens in this very normal dimension. Mm -hmm. A familiar face appears. What? Uh, you see in another rift, kind of on the other side of the dimension, mm -hmm. like across the street in the dimension, uh, you, you see, uh, trying to uh, rest a giant crown off of a long dead king mm -hmm. uh, is Dillop. Oh my god, Dillop? <laughs> Megzi? Uh, <laughs> hey, hey. Megzi, is that you? Yeah, what, um. Oh my god. How's, how's the, how's being a magician working out for you? Not so great, in fact. Uh, as you can see, I'm taking part-time work uh, resting, you know, these goblets and crowns off of various uh, dead demigods and monarchs and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, how's how's that? Is that is that? Um... You know, I actually think it's my true calling. Uh, it's you know, I've actually started my own business. In fact, uh, it's uh, Dilip LLC. Oh my gosh! Well, let let me know if you're ever hiring. It's a pretty it's a pretty small operation. No, yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, mm -hmm. I just I just, just mean, you know, if you ever it's it just seems like it's a good <laughs> idea and so you probably like you're going to reach a growth state and when you Oh, do, absolutely. Yes, do you, yes. I I I'd throw you my card. I don't super know how gravity works in this dimension. Well, give it a shot. Give it All a right. go. I throw I I throw my my business card towards yeah. Dillip. <laughs> See an imp flies in. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Thank well, you. Oh, I gotta change my phone number. <laughs> uh, the imp poops out your phone number somehow <laughs> to everyone. Gross. We're gonna prank call you now. Oh, rotten luck with that. Uh, you, you gotta watch out for those imps. Uh, they can ingest matter and turn it into information in the form of farts. This dimension's wild. I've, you know, I come here pretty much every Tuesday. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of the grease guy. You're the grease guy? Yeah. Of, of I'm, the... Sorry, what was the name of your company again? Well, it's Dillip LLC. Right, it's your company. Is the name. You're, so you're the CEO and Grease Guy? Yes, I call it Dillip's Dollops uh, because I'm the Grease Guy, so I put a dollop of grease on before I go on a mission because uh, I can squeeze into little areas. That, see, that's what I've been... I've been trying to, to figure out how to work actual grease uh, a lot of into my work regimen. A lot of people think it's purely metaphorical. Right. But I, I find that, you know, when you say you're the Grease Guy mm -hmm. and then you show up for a job, People want to see the grease. <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna say you're looking very shiny. Thank like, you. Shinier than I remember you, and you yeah. were always pretty shiny. I, you know, it is due to my arcane uh, power that it just flows through me naturally. Well, actually, I inherited it from my father. I killed him and took his <laughs> arcane power. 
You're I, so interesting. Th well, thank you. Uh, tell me more about yourself, though. Uh, well, you know, I'm I'm not I'm I'm still working at Questly. Um, oh, yes. You know, I'm not uh, verified yet, cool. but I I had a, I had a pretty cool convo with uh, with with uh, Ludwig. Uh, I don't know if you you seen him in interviews or wow. anything, but he's a real real class act, mm -hmm. real real interesting mm -hmm. guy. Um, Dilip is like looking around to see if there's anyone else in this nightmare dimension. That's yeah. more important okay. than you. No, that's cool. Yeah, no, I should. The rift is. Uh, this rift is closing, so I, I actually. I'd love oh, to yeah. stay in chat, but I've got to go. Yeah, I've it turns out this this uh, long dead king actually still alive. Kind of awkward. That's uh, pretty awkward. Uh, I'll let you deal with it. Um, uh, so yeah, I guess um, find me find me on Insta. Uh, oh and, sure, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, see, I'll I'll try and try and reach out to you. Best of luck with the with the whole. Uh, owning your own company thing. That's really... It's yeah, a, I really recommend it to really anyone. Cool. All you that's need actually is... Really, that's really cool. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, well, goodbye. Bye. I have your number because the, the imp farted the imp it into farted my brain. It. Oh, you, get, you got it from I the fart. It, yeah, I, didn't, yeah. I wasn't sure what right, that cool. meant. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll call you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so you... <laughs> return. Was, was, uh, good, good job, Legsy. Really. <laughs> you, really, you really nailed that interaction. <laughs> uh, uh, so you return... Uh, to the mortal realm uh, from this nightmare dimension. Uh, you claim the ring, you complete another quest. Congratulations. Yay. Uh, and now we will turn to uh, Roxa, I believe. Hello. Hi, would it, you like to draw? It's time, yes. Okay, wonderful. Okay. What are you thinking for your quest? You know, this is a good time to work on um, some strength here. So I take something that would improve my strength a little bit. Something that would improve your strength. You're already massive strength. Yeah, but you can always be improving, you know? That's good, that's a good mantra. Yeah, always be improving, but also something that like might be helpful to, to people in the, in the community. Mm -hmm. I realize that I've maybe not made things super easy. Sure. For uh, some people, uh, so I feel like I have to give back a little bit. Oh, that's very noble. Mm. So <laughs> I'm going to... Um, I love this what? shape. <laughs> Where's this little chess piece? <laughs> oh, oh, it's a little old lady. It's a little old lady, I imagine. Or man. Or man. Or like uh, again, I think maybe just a gumdrop with a head. Yeah, could be that too. One of those uh, animated uh, gumdrops mm -hmm. that, that you, they got walking around. Yeah. Aw, who's this? Uh, it's a, a woman. She needed some help uh, on Questly. Mm -hmm. She's uh, very old. I can, as see. You can see. Help me, I'm very old. <laughs> what do I do? What do I do? I can't do anything. This sucks. My old shitty body <laughs> just sits here. Help! It's getting worse. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know what to do? <laughs> you haven't found a grand panacea yet? <laughs> I thought you young kids were working on that. I thought there was a tincture. <laughs> Nano machines. <laughs> Something. <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Can you at least get my modem working? <laughs> <laughs> I want to yell about this online. <laughs> so I want to watch my stories. <laughs> I want to watch my bone stories. <laughs> <laughs> they're clicking and they're clacking delights me so. <laughs> Gerald's been posting some real bullshit on social media and he's getting away scot-free. <laughs> I got to post some memes. <laughs> the crunchier, the better. Please help me post a meme. I need to embarrass my grandson with a weird comment. <laughs> of course I won't post it in the right place. Why I would I? I need to post, I'm with Parker. <laughs> Hashtag I'm with Parker <laughs> is so big among the, the geriatric community. community. <laughs> so are you like helping? <laughs> did we give this old lady a name? Uh, you did not. What are we thinking, gang? Probably like Dillis. I guess we already have a Dillip. <laughs> we already have a Dillip. Is, is this Dillip's grandma? <laughs> Dillis? <laughs> Grandma, I, I recovered your crown from the insanity dimension. <laughs> oh, finally! Now I can live forever! <laughs> oh, it just made me insane. <laughs> She's the number one investor in uh, Dillip LLC. Yeah, how do you think that Dillip got all the money? Yeah, he's a trust fund kid. <laughs> Absolutely. 
I've sundered many a plane in my day <laughs> and have become quite rich as a result. <laughs> Kids these days want their planes sundered for them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this treasure lost for aeons, and here it is once more in my grasp. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I done soiled myself. <laughs> it is the soils of torment and also poop. <laughs> so are you helping uh, Dillis across the street or something else? Oh, carrying groceries. You know, work out the arm strength, but mm -hmm. also work out the uh, emotional strength. I realize that that's a kind of a weakness of mine. Wow. Maybe not the most emotionally available. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if this is helping, mm -hmm. but I'm certainly going to try. So what are you and, what are you and Dillis talking about, other oh, than I, her great-grandson? I wasn't grandson. listening. <laughs> Honestly, that's the best tactic. Mm -hmm. I think you're the best person for this. She, she just yeah. needs another warm body to talk at. She right. does not want input. She, she's not going to be reflecting on any of her uh, yeah. opinions. I feel like the first point. three hours are about like, you know, controversial opinions about the grocery employees. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> she doesn't like them. Doesn't we'll, like we'll them. Say, we'll say the least. Just... She does not like them. <laughs> we don't have to get into it. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think she probably goes year by year with milk prices for a bit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They've gone up. <laughs> Long story short. Or there was a period where they stayed steady. <laughs> <laughs> Those bags are just full of I'm with Parker paraphernalia. <laughs> I like to think that she is buying like incredibly dense groceries though. Oh, yeah. It's like all cantaloupes and jugs of milk. Yeah. And you're like, why? Why these two things? I buy the dark matter milk. It's extra dense. <laughs> <laughs> she says something about how this is a recipe that she grew up with. It mm -hmm. involves cantaloupe and milk and maybe some, some like, you know, gelatinous material that goes in there. And you're just like, that sounds the worst. Maybe some ham is in there. Only by making the nightmare casserole can I ward off the demons that live within the crown. <laughs> You're literally describing some actual southern salad recipes. Uh, yeah, it's true though. <laughs> Gelatin, fruits, mm -hmm. yeah. uh, I can't lactose dairy. in some form. Oh yeah, Julia, get the perspective on wow. this crosswalk. Crossing the street, that's dangerous. All these crosswalk lines, perfect she, perspective. She did Especially. insist on going to the, the supermarket with me. Yeah, and I, and I imagine it's like there's a special supermarket that Dillis needs to go to to yeah. get these, these special ingredients uh, to ward off you know, the chaos demons that live within this cursed crown that uh, Dillip has fetched for her. <laughs> it's old people problems. You, you know? know how it is. You know how it is. You get up there in age, the chaos demons come. <laughs> um, so it looks like you're wrapping up unless you've got more details, unless you want to draw like a bunch of cars uh, colliding in the background as you walk yeah, slowly you across the street. A bunch of cars in perspective as well. That are crashing and yeah. colliding and, mm -hmm. and being destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Oh shit! That's what that's what cars look like in somewhere. <laughs> oh god, they're I know. sad. The driver's sad. It's like that that car is about to collide with the Apple car from Richard Scarry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wait. <laughs> <laughs> this is a copyright-free worm, man. <laughs> I remember when they started letting worm people drive. <laughs> oh no, we I, can't get into this. I voted against it. <laughs> yeah, we know you did. Revoke the licenses. That's what <laughs> that's what Parker says. They took my license. Why can't I take theirs? <laughs> it's only fair. An eye for an eye. <laughs> All right. Uh, why did you finish up that car? Um, it, you mean it's not done? It's it's done. It's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you? There you um, go. Yes. <laughs> You've done all you can. Uh, let's. I'm going to go ahead and award you the perfect car. Thank you. The I'm going to write yeah. that down on my sheet. Hold on, where's mm -hmm. my pencil? Yeah, put that down. Yeah. The the uh, the perfect car prize. It's awarded uh, once per campaign, mm -hmm. and you have received it now. Great. Uh, you can trade that in for uh, five percent off your next oil change. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, so Roxette, you go out into the community. You help. You listen. You try to expand your emotional intelligence as well as your physical prowess. Um, you make a friend. You and Dillis get to chatting. I feel like you know you're both. You both like the same things. I think Dillis misses being able to eat sandwiches because mm -hmm. she doesn't have teeth anymore. Yeah. Uh, so you chew up the sandwiches and then like spit them onto a plate for her, and she's like, "Thank you." Oh. 
I feel like I've gotten training on how to, you know, change some bad opinions from Parker. You know, sometimes oh. you just got to talk to people. Wow. You know, yeah. so my patience is uh, is picking up a little bit. You have leveled up in more ways than one. This Thank episode. you. So congratulations. Um, well, after this heartwarming uh, departure, it's time to see whatever the fuck Regina's up to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Gina, as a preface to this, gets mm -hmm. a, a Questly beep and, and opens the message, and it just says, Help, my party blows! The <laughs> oh, boys nice. are getting anxious! <laughs> oh, yeah! Please help! Yes! Love so, that. Gina rolls up to the party. The party. The party. Mm -hmm. Walks in the door and smashes over her own head <laughs> the flail of libation. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, yes! Let's get this thing started. Let's, Let's go! go. The flail of libation is an item that whoever gets hit with it uh, becomes instantly drunk and completes their drawing while wearing a pair of inebriation goggles. <laughs> Which I have right here. I do this to myself <laughs> for the sake of the party. Here they are. Oh, they're beautiful. The goggles oh, of inebriation. No. Place those wow. on your head. I can't see head. anything. You mad woman, you. Oh, this looks bad. <laughs> oh, there's some hair in them, too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> is that it. part of the inebriation? Um. Yes, uh, because you probably tripped and fell onto oh, a cat. Oh, God. Now with the jacket, you <laughs> oh, look like a no. dystopian. <laughs> oh, Lord, no. <laughs> You've done this to yourself. No, I literally can't see. get my. You got it. You got <laughs> it. Okay, I got it. I got it. We're in. Oh, my God, this sucks so bad. <laughs> with with your leather jacket, you look like a raider from the, <laughs> the wastelands. Yeah. Yeah. Your drawing is gonna suck, but you look so cool. Yeah. Oh, I've been drunk before, and it was not like this. <laughs> then you haven't been drunk. My limbs are so far away. <laughs> okay, I think I'm just gonna try to draw Gina partying. Yeah, yeah. draw the party. Yeah. As best I can. <laughs> you haven't drawn a single line yet. Okay. Go. Okay, all right. Line. Okay, all here right. we go. That's Gina-shaped. Yeah. This is Gina-shaped. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I'm gonna barf. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone at the party is like, she did this to herself! That's radical. <laughs> this was by choice. Drunk <laughs> 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 Gina has a very different energy. <laughs> I'm gonna barf. She's a puppet now. There it goes, there's the mouth, yeah. of course. <laughs> now here's the question. Did Gina maybe also Take some other substances. <laughs> Unclear. It seems to me like she did, based on what I'm seeing. Yeah, I mean, who knows what foul tinctures were in that that flail. <laughs> That's the thing about the flail, is you have to whack yourself over the head with it. Yeah. So, like, you're definitely getting a little brain damage as well. Yeah, fantasy drunk is a little bit more intense. I would say. There are more powerful uh, <laughs> spirits, literal spirits. I've never oh, seen a drawing God. that encapsulated the phrase, hey! <laughs> oh, no, I'm not undoing any of this. No, uh, don't. don't. Don't you dare. This is perfect. <laughs> this is beautiful just the way it is. It's party time. Yoga! It's party time. Yoga! <laughs> what are you... Oh, yeah, right, you're wearing your le leather jacket. Yeah, there's a leather jacket. I thought you'd put on, like, a special party turtleneck. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's just the neck, Caldwell. <laughs> oh, God, where's the E key? Hold on. <laughs> there it is. This is incredible. I got it. Yeah, gotta get your keyboard shut. How have we not done this before that, now? Oh, no, that's the wrong tool. Oh, no, hold oh, on. You're, you're lost. You're in the fucking weeds. I'm in the weeds. <laughs> oh, boy. It's party time, baby. <laughs> Let's go. That I think... arm is so big. <laughs> that's is the it? party arm. It's like twice as big as the other arm. Don't you, undo it. Don't now, you dare. I'm not. I'm just I want to try those on yeah. when you're done. Here's the thing. All right, y'all. While um, while Regina's drawing, I have a question oh for both God. of you. Oh my God. Hold on. Sorry. She has a claw. Yeah. That's my bad. her hand. Jacob draws better hands when he's not looking at the canvas oh, than shit. he's drawing right now. Okay. You don't want to catch that hand. Now, I have a question for uh, Roxa and Legzy. Yeah. Do you go to the party, too? Do yeah, I'll, I'll go. If, if, if Gina told me about the party, I'll go to the party. I have to imagine. Well, I guess that's a question for Gina. Yeah, I probably, I mean, I think I smashed this over my head, immediately texted everyone I've ever known. <laughs> yeah, you texted me for me priority. Priority. And I now, was like, go. And I was like, oh, I got to see this. <laughs> 
Um, so I just wanted to say, yeah, if you want to help out in any way, I think that Gene has got this under control. But remember, you oh, have God. sketchcraft abilities and other items that uh, you could potentially use. Uh, but I think you should see how Gene is feeling. Yeah, I feel like Legsy's just watching. Yeah. Rox has definitely shown up with water, but mostly for herself. <laughs> She Roxa. doesn't drink, but she she does want to stay hydrated. That's important. Absolutely. Hey, can I hit some of that water? Just yeah, all right. Thank uh -oh. you. Legsy, be careful. That's Roxas strong water. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to need you to make a guts roll to see if you can stomach that strong water. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. OK. That's a 10. OK. Uh, you hold it down, but you're not liking it. Uh, that water was stronger than I was expecting. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strong. Wow. What do yeah. you do to make the water strong? Eggs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's where my eggs keep going. Guys, this is a party. <laughs> what is this, water? These legs. Get your legs in the game, <laughs> Legsy. This, this. Get your legs. I just, I feel Legsy. like I'm here. Get your legs. I got my legs. Legsy. Legsy. Legs. <laughs> legs. Legs. Oh boy. This Rocks. is amazing. Mm -hmm. Are you, Rocks? Yeah. What's up? You're, you're good. <laughs> Thanks. You're good. Rocks? Yeah. You're good. Thanks. Legsy. Yeah, am I, am I good? No. Oh, no. man. Get the legs. I got the legs. <laughs> bring your legs over here. We're bring, dancing. I bring, my, I bring my mannequin legs. We're dancing. I bring my mannequin legs over. You know, you when you're sober, <laughs> you give me a lot of shit for having mannequin legs in the house. I never give you any I love your mannequin legs. I your love bones. them. Your mannequin legs, it wouldn't be the same. Thank you. We're dan what let's We're dance. dancing. I'm dancing with You're you. You're dancing. We're, We're dancing. dancing. Um I I I don't know if you realize this, Legsy, uh, but I, I brought I brought Parker. I felt like you Fuck should get that guy. I felt like <laughs> you, you brought that keep, guy. Keep, keep keep Parker away from, from Gina. Gina's I not just, gonna be able to I, exhibit any self control. <laughs> I thought it would be rude to not bring our other roommate. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I'll I'll dance with Parker. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. Rox, are you dancing? No. No? I imagine you're like... I'm kind of just like, oh. at the most. Kind of like nodding your head in the corner. Doing yeah. A little bit of that. Yeah. Just kind of like, you know, fist pumping yeah. in the air. Keeping and... an eye on all the exits, making sure the perimeter's secure. Yeah, like making that. sure that I don't lose my friends. One of them uh, tends to wander off a little bit when <laughs> she's drunk. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Legsy. I just... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure that we don't lose her again. Legsy. What's up? Don't wander off. We're, Rox gets worried. Oh, OK. When you go, Rox, I'm not when you go off. don't wander. I'm not going to wander off. I'm right here. You're so small. I know. You leave a trail of legs, so it's always yeah. it's pretty easy you can to find, find me. You. One more important question. Yeah. Is Dillis at the party? Are you, you asking know, me? I thought it would be better for her joints if she didn't. OK. Yeah, I feel like we invited Dillis, and Dillis was like, no, I'm, I've got my own shit. I'm booked up. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, a... She puts on, like, a cult mask. <laughs> a young people party? Sounds lame. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to a Parker rally. <laughs> oh, no. Parker's here at the party, though. <laughs> yeah, Parker doesn't want anything to do with the rally. Yeah, Parker has no control over uh, the <laughs> I'm with Parker crowd. Things have gotten out of hand yeah. in the Parker crowd. <laughs> I um, think I'm done. I think... You've done all you ever could. This is a party. This Can is I... wonderful. Do you want to see what you did? Yeah, I super do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there it is. Oh, that's the stuff. Can yeah. I see what it looked like to you? Oh, my god. Yeah, put them on. That's impressive. And you have, like, goggle lines on your face now. Oh, beautiful, perfect. Wow. It's not. I'm impressed. It's not easy to see through those, huh? No. Mm-mm. -mm. No. -uh. And it is also nothing like being drunk. <laughs> wow. Here's the thing, though. This was a good item. Uh, Regina, thank you so much. Uh, well done. Uh, this is no easy feat, but you accomplished it with flying colors. Um, most of the colors are from the vomit spewing out of your mouth from of all course, the booze. Of course, of um, course. But I will say, while you're dancing, people are taking pictures. That's people what are I like posting. to hear. People are like, who's this party bone demon queen? It's working. Who is she? It's happening. The calls go up. Who is she? What no do you think, one, no like, one knows. That's the mystery. That's the mystery that builds. <laughs> that's the mystery. <laughs> what do you think the like? <laughs> Such a distinctive <laughs> line across your forehead from the goggles. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you do look like you've been in the desert uh, for like. I feel like I feel like I've gone through some shit. I'm gonna be honest with you. He's a changed man. I feel like I've, some stuff has happened to yes. me. Yes, I mean you're hungover. Yeah, I make you I make you your your hangover special, which is just a lot of eggs. Yeah, thank you. I'm gonna need that. Except yeah. the Regina. Yeah. What do you think people call you online when they post about you? What is the like nickname they associate with this mysterious uh, party queen? It's probably something like Barf Girl. Because <laughs> so far, I've been barfing everywhere. Every adventure, I've been barfing, and pics have been going out. That's a true. That's true. I think I might true. be Barf Girl. Barf Girl. Barf Girl's catchy. Barf Girl's yeah. catching on, yeah. But That's I could a... have one of those redemptive arcs later, like, wait till you see what Barf Girl looks like now, <laughs> you know? So I think that's my, my yeah. new Yeah, it's aim. like if Barf Girl's like rescuing a Shetland pony or something yeah. like that. It's like, wow, Barf Girl's a good person. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the, the call goes up. Barf Girl begins to trend. Yes. Yeah. Let's We're actually, doing it. Let's go ahead and do a, let's do a roll. We haven't used Boxy at this episode. Oh, give me Boxy. Give me a, hmm, this would be a cunning roll, I think. Sure. My cunning is nothing. Mm-hmm. That's a 10. A 10. A straight 10. Uh, the legend of Barf Girl begins, but it does not grow. Okay. So you're gonna need to like keep the flame going. So I it's think. like trending topics for like a minute. Yeah. There's like but, maybe uh, a couple memes, but like people, it's it's not taking off just doesn't yet. catch fire. Okay. Right. So wow, um, you head home, you sleep off your massive, massive hangover. Uh, I I feel like you're just eating eggs in bed for an entire day. Yeah. Uh, you three are all wiped from these new missions. Uh, you got three more missions under your belt. That's incredible. Uh, which means, of course. One more skill point for each of you. Congratulations! Yeah. yeah! Yeah, you three are killing it, but it is time now to figure out who is killing it the hardest. Which of you is a straight up murderer worthy of this week's five star blessing? Mm. Oh boy. Let's find out now. It's not up to me to say though, it is time for us to summon our algorithm. Uh, this week being played, of course, by Mike Trapp. Mike, oh. would you please join us? All right. Did someone ages ago say lame but capable? <laughs> the klaxon that's, call. That's why I, I heard it from miles away. <laughs> I am needed. <laughs> someone needs my particular skill set. I'm kind of okay, but pretty lame. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Mike. Thank you for our, having me. Uh, as our algorithm, mm. uh, would you mind donning the cloak of judgment, putting up your hood? Oh, there's so a that hood. You, there's a hood. Yeah. It oh. helps with the judgment. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I can see that. You must remain impartial. Oh yeah, yeah. now you're ready. There, to there, yeah, now this is absolutely. This feels very judgmental. It's a very <laughs> expensive cloak. First of all, I love this idea that there are just rifts opening up that are like maybe like it almost feels like the barbarians is like. This is just too gross for me to reach into. It's like, <laughs> like something like fell down like a garbage disposal. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's, like, it's like we can handle this, but gross. No, <laughs> like let's let's call someone. They'll deal with this. Um, I also like that there's uh, there's this feels like a single ma like one massive entity, like a whole dimension that's just composed of a single organism. Yeah. Except for in the upper left, the little kiss bat, <laughs> who maybe just just flies around and pecks little kisses on the nightmare uh, the nightmare world that we're in. Well, Caldwell established that there there was at least another creature, a little, little imp that ate my number that's and true. farted it out. That's so true. Exactly. Yeah. I had to, you know, I think there's one big creature and yeah. probably a lot of little ones. It's an ecosystem. Absolutely. That, uh, that yeah. feed off of it in some weird way. Lights and mice and whatnot. Yeah. Yeah, and the big creature does like smooches. Oh, for sure. <laughs> like, so. I feel bad about myself a lot, but then the kiss pad comes and I just feel better. <laughs> it's all about self-esteem. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um, uh, yeah, there's a lot that I like here. Mm -hmm. um, and then, man, I love Dillis. Uh, <laughs> uh, what what an oddly proportioned uh, woman. <laughs> and uh, the, those two facial expressions have never more clearly captured the feeling of being in a conversation with an old person you do not want to be with. It's just like, I can neither agree with you nor disagree with you. Mm -hmm. I must ex simply acknowledge that you have said things. Um, I also love the, the flappy arm uh, flaps. Um, oh yeah. Uh, and just the sheer idea of someone growing old 
and like realizing for the first time what that means of just sort of like, something's wrong with my body. <laughs> has, has anyone else felt this? Does it feel like your bones hurt all the time? What's happening to me, doctor? It's like, oh, just, you know, the passage of time. That's just like a thing that happened. Like, what? Why did no one warn me about this? <laughs> Fuck off with that. <laughs> what? This is terrible. We have to be doing something about this. You just know that this is a thing that happened? Why what? isn't there a walkathon to cure getting old? <laughs> Um, and also the idea of these like neocon monsters who are like, I don't agree with everything the Nightmare King says, but he's doing something to kind of clean up the neighborhood, you know? And it's like, come, Dennis, don't say Dennis. things like that. And then all you can do is just have that face. It's like, oh, God, all yep. right. Uh, and finally, gosh, uh, gosh, there's so much to say here. What a, what a joy this drawing is. Um, Here's the thing that I equally love and hate about this drawing, is that it looks like this face is a mask. Uh, it, <laughs> like, it looks like this was just plopped right on. That is, makes this horribly unsettling. <laughs> um, uh, but wh like, what a great way to capture uh, sort of like a meta feeling of drunkenness. Yeah. It, it's almost like the pink elephant sequence in Dumbo, you know, where it's like, shit's going down. It's oh, like, everybody, you know, like yeah, this, is, yeah. this is crazy now. Um, Love that this party seems to be populated by ghosts. Um, <laughs> Those are established in universe. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. totally. Mm -hmm. uh, it's you know, it's like yeah, there's a reason the party was dead before. Uh, <laughs> hey, before, uh, oh. So, hey, oh, hey. <laughs> I also love these little dancing lines. It gives me the impression that this dance is more of a high pitch vibration <laughs> rather than, than like just like. Ew! It's a bit of a shake, yeah. <laughs> um, the, the general proportions, wild. <laughs> tiny, tiny legs, big old hands. Um, Waste a lot. A lot, yeah. <laughs> Much. Uh, um, so uh, uh, I, I love all these drawings a lot. If I, if I have to award five-star blessing uh, to, to one of these, I'll, I'll have to give it to uh, to Jacob for for pure ballsiness yeah. of, of the of ballsy like, blessing, the ballsy <laughs> blessing uh, of of just um, uh, flailing yourself and like taking one for the team, barfing up a storm. Um, that's uh, uh, you know that shows real commitment to trying to get get verified. And I, I think that blessing's gonna have to go to you. Thank well you, done. Mike. I'm, I'm honored and I'm so sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like. You get a notification on your phone that you've gotten this blessing, and you're just like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> the phone falls off the bed, and you're like, no. No. <laughs> Legsy. <laughs> phone. Yeah. yeah, I'm here. I'm here for you. Uh, well, wonderful. So again, uh, to clarify, you receive an item in addition to your skill point. What a um, blessed day. So let's go ahead and pull out some items, Ooh. and you can take your pick. Yes. All righty. Great. Item the first. Ooh. Ooh, this is a fun one. The egg of kind surprise. Ooh. A tasty snack plus a simple, small, helpful item. Roll a d6 to determine what's inside. Ooh. Fun. Yeah. Ooh. Thanks to Lazy Mars on Discord for suggesting this item. I like item. that it's legally clearable. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about this oh, one? Oh, this one's fun. It's the friend switch bracelet. It is a magical, brightly colored bracelet that binds you and one other player together. You now must work together and take turns switching every two minutes to complete the drawing. Oh, yes. Yeah. That's fun. That is uh, fun. Thank you to Phoenix on Discord for suggesting this item. There we go. Yeah, let's do this one. Oh, uh, just nothing but hits this time. Ooh. We got the beacon of flavor. Summon a restaurant mascot from the world of Somewhereica to aid you. Restaurants from this realm resemble those of our own, but are slightly abstracted. Examples include Pizza Husk, McDemons, and of course, Kinky Friend Chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Kinky Friend Chicken. Thank you so much, Sleepy, on the Discord for that wonderful item. And now our last one. Our last one will be this one. Ooh, the cinnamon re-roll. Mm. This blessed pastry allows you to re-roll any dice roll. Wow, there wow. you go. All right, so those are our items. Uh, Regina, you have first pick. It's got to be the, the friendship bracelet. Oh, going with the friend no switch. No two ways about it. Perfect. Go ahead and claim it. There you go. Thank you, Congratulations. sir. Congratulations. Um, all right, now that leaves Take us... this boon. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it aids you in your quest. <laughs> you weren't talking like that before. What happened? <laughs> oh, God. Why did no one warn me about getting old? <laughs> Yeah, I think this just kind of like appears in bed with you. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last time? Yeah, you got it from the party. There's one handcuff on me, and I'm like, oh no. Oh no. 
Uh, so, Legsy, Roxa, do you all want to grab an item or are you going to use a skill point? I think I'm going to go with the skill point this there time. There you go. All right, grinding. I love it. Yeah. Roxa, how about you? I think I'm going to go with the skill point as well because oh, okay. then I'll get my next Sketchcraft. Oh, fantastic. Good call. All right. So, these items will return to the bag to be seen again in the future. Ungrateful. <laughs> no one likes my well, no one likes my items. Well, fine. He worked so hard on these items. <laughs> I really like the I art. I thought you wanted a game station. Is this not what you asked for? <laughs> it's just as good. It's just a little cheaper. It plays all the hits. <laughs> um, well, that concludes our judgment. Uh, thank you so much, Trap, for helping us out. Absolutely. Thank you for uh, having me on. Do you have any parting wisdom for our players? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Just go. Just go. <laughs> Let's see where this sentence goes. Sometimes you have to start with basic shapes before you draw squiggly lines. Ooh. Oh, mm -hmm. those little, those little art arcane. tip. Yeah, yeah arcane art tip. I wasn't tips. expecting an art tip from, from you. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. It's a straight up yeah. Cohen. But you passed on that wisdom yes. to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I, who know so much more about drawing than any of you. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, wisdom is the greatest item of all. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Uh, well, thank you once again. All right. Uh, let's all give Mike a round of applause. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having me. Beautiful well, work. Off to my closet. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Trap. Bye. Bye, Trap. Bye. Bye. All right. What a treat. What a treat. What a fun time. That brings us back to our story. I think it's time to start wrapping things up. So, after a long week of missions, you three are fully exhausted. You collapse onto the couch, ready to finally just chill, take a beat, barf a little more, just get it all out, when all of a sudden, Buzz, 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 oh, God. buzz, buzzed. Buzz. Right out the window. Not I now, am Gregory. a bumblebee, and I have the honey of news for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's cute. And that's all, really but... cute. <laughs> you have a new message from <laughs> Questly HQ. Congratulations. Let me know if I'm getting these names right. Legging, <laughs> genital, rod. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Thank you. Mine you... was the least bad, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you three have officially been promoted from Questly Associate to Questly Fellow. <gasps> oh, that's right. I didn't know that was a rank we could get. It is indeed. You read on to see that Questly Fellow is actually a paid position. Oh, wow. With money? With money. Uh, not a lot of money. Severely underpaid. Uh, under minimum wage, actually. Mm -hmm. It's a tipping situation. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, hey, you're one step closer to verification. All right. Hell sweet. yeah. I'll take it. Uh, you see, as you begin to celebrate, Gregory Hamilton says, wait, 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 I have more news for you. Of course you do. <laughs> I love to bring you the news like a happy puppy. <laughs> Uh, you see, in addition to this uh, message about becoming a fellow, you've also been invited to a Questly Fellow orientation mixer uh, oh, yeah. at Ludwig Vindersall's private lake house. There are going to be drinks there, are there? There are absolutely going to be drinks smell, there. I can't even smell one right now. <laughs> You gotta take, you know what, you just gotta sweat it out. Oh, you gotta sweat God. it out, friend. All right, fine. Because this party's coming up, and it is at Ludwig Vindersall's private lake house in Elfendale. Ooh, Ooh, ritzy. Yeah. A land of lakes and fancy-ass houses. They don't let me in there normally. Magical trees. No, you are an infernal being and should not be there, but an exception has been made. Wow. Uh, so yeah, it looks like you girls are gearing up for your greatest challenge to date, social interaction. Yikes. My forte. <laughs> I did such a good job with Dillip. Oh yeah, you crushed it. <laughs> I go to my bedroom. You go to your bedroom? I go to go to sleep. You just go to sleep right now? I just, I mean, listen. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is the one for me. <laughs> you gonna take a skip? <laughs> so Roxa will not be joining us on okay. the next episode. Uh, thank you so much, Julia. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Excellent uh... work, Julia, we'll see ya. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you've all gotten, uh, Potentially great news uh, and a paycheck uh, along the line. Um, you know, who's to say the future is uncertain, but uh, it seems like things are starting to look up a little bit. Um, Roxa's already departed to bed. Uh, what are you gonna do? You know, these mixers, they seem like they're gonna be fun time, but it's really, it's about networking. It's about advancing yourself within the, uh, within the company. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Legacy's gonna do a little, uh, little Insta-stalking of uh, some of the other fellows. Oh. Do some research. Okay. 
All right, great. Uh, why don't you do a wisdom roll for me? That's 18. 18? Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, you kind of, you find a listing of the, the crop of, uh, of fellows that you're gonna see there this year. Are there groups on Instagram in this world? Absolutely. Okay, yeah, good. Yeah, it's, it's kind of a multi-purpose tool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that they've probably made like a, there, there's probably a, like welcome, like the new Questly Fellow class of the year that it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the year that it is. They uh, wanted to reuse the graphics, so they yeah. made it, you know, it can work any year. Questly social media is pretty on point. So like, you actually see your faces in there. It's kind of like a grid with all of the new uh, the new oh, folks that are gonna that be there. picture of me? Yeah. I'm, I'm barfing in I'm mine. I'm covered in bee stings. <laughs> <laughs> they are all taken from a on-the-job location. Yeah. So. Yeah, they're all action shots. They're all from when uh, earlier in this episode when mm -hmm. the uh, when the movie boys showed up. Oh yeah. Um, do you see anyone you recognize? Do I see anyone I recognize? Hmm. Hmm. With an eighteen, I think you do. Uh, not who you'd expect. Dillip isn't on there. Dillip right. is obviously no, doing Dillip, his own. Dillip's thing. got his own company. Mm -hmm. It'd be crazy to try and work two jobs. But I think you see Karen, Renald. Oh. Mm -hmm. Renald, of course. Yes. From my Bard elective. Exactly. Uh, Renald from your Bard elective. People did not think that they were going to have what it takes uh, to be an adventurer because they they just play the keyboard. Yeah. <laughs> and they it's, have to set up the keyboard yeah, it's, anywhere it's they hard, go. It's a hard one for if you're going to be on the road a lot. Exactly. Yeah, you got to find somewhere to plug in, some sort of power source. Mm -hmm. A lot of people. A, minute, yeah. Yeah. a lot of people were like, oh, why wouldn't you just use like a, a keytar or something that you could strap to yourself? And Renald, you know, stuck to their guns. Didn't have strong enough shoulders. Yeah, actually to stuck two guns to their keyboard. Oh. Yeah. Um, kind of became a battle uh, a battle bard, um, and they're really making a name for themselves. And they are another questly fellow that you will see there. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you see a lot of other people that you're excited to meet. A lot of fun faces. A lot of fresh, uh, interesting folks. Oh man, some of them are younger than me. Oh yeah, that's the way of it, isn't it? They're still in college. They're already working. God. One of them is just a baby. <laughs> <laughs> A very rich-looking baby. Yeah. <laughs> you see that it's actually one of the babies that Gene was juggling earlier? Oh. <laughs> Come up in the world since then. Wow. Yeah. I felt potential in this baby. <laughs> wow, a recommendation from Gene, really. Put this baby ahead. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, you do your stalking. Uh, Gina, do you any do anything else? Gina goes back to her room and she's looking at herself in the mirror, um, like wearing like her leather jacket mm -hmm. and, you know, the, the, the pants and the boots, and she's like, this is a fancy party, you know? And like, I don't know if this is gonna cut it. Mm. And she thinks about rocks, and then she puts on a tie on top of the leather jacket. <laughs> oh yeah. And then looks in the mirror and gives one nod. <laughs> that's a look. Like, that's it, we've done it. Perfect. Legsy, are, uh, are you tying up as well? Do they tell me that they're doing this? I feel like this is something that I'm gonna see them both wearing ties and I'll be like, what the hell, guys? <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely not telling you about yeah, okay. it. This is a personal development. Yeah, I, I wouldn't see. think, I Lexi would never think to wear a tie on I got you. Okay, so uh, you, you're going tieless for now. Maybe yeah. you'll change your tune tomorrow when you wake up. Yeah. Uh, but for now, I think it's probably time to uh, head to bed. You got a big day tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, let's All do right. it. So after this impossibly long day, you three finally get into bed, you fall, instantly to sleep, and then something strange happens. Well, gosh. Always with this. I can't get a moment's rest. Well, I should say something strange continues to happen. Because uh, ever since you fought that ghost at the swole hole, things haven't been quite the same. You keep seeing them, the visions from the mirror. Occasionally you catch them in the reflection of a window while walking down the street. Hi, not dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just hold the sign. Uh, other times, you'll see it in a puddle before a bike tire whoosh, splashes it away. It's troubling, and yet all your previous encounters have been so brief that you don't really register it. Until now, when they appear before you full and unhindered in your dreams, in this previously safe space. Uh, you fall asleep and you just see them waiting for you. So each of you are in a black room, and standing in front of you is a very tall mirror with runes etched on the sides of it. And on the other side of the mirror, you see the visions from the weight room. Legsy. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> you see a mass of broken slimy ropes laden with locks and sealed chests. Symbols of failure, rattling and reaching. Ugh. Regina. 
<laughs> I look like Dillis. No. You see an echo. <laughs> a phantom Dillis. <laughs> <laughs> Shrugging, unsure of what being old is about and why the fuck it happened. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it troubles you so. It does, yeah. Roxa, mm. you see your dad, and he holds up a sign that says, I'm doing great. That's nice. And it looks like he means it. But then you also see Regina and Legsy and Parker up here behind him. And they're all holding signs that say, we're doing great. And then they flip the signs over and they say, alone. You know, I'm kind of glad that they have individual strengths themselves <laughs> and that they can really uh, hold their own, but also it's, I'm a little sad about this. Uh, so you see all the hands start to reach up towards you. Legsy, the ropes flick up. You see the locks rattling, it reaches out. Regina, you see your old bony hand <laughs> reaching towards you. I hate it. Roxa, you see everyone drop their signs and begin reaching out. They all reach out, but this time, there's no buff orc to block their path, and the hands reach towards you. <sighs> and that is where we will end our session. Oh my uh, god. Woo. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. How dare you? What a dream. Hmm, what a day. I just want to rest. <laughs> <laughs> Is that too much to just ask? Just let these girls rest. Uh, well, we're going to take a rest, and we will be back with more Draga next time. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Thank you to our wonderful players. Thank you to our judge, Mike Trapp, for doing such an amazing job. Uh, we're going to go process what just happened, and we'll be back soon. But until then, we are very, very sorry. Sorry. We're sorry. Bye. Let us all do a little bit of an icebreaking exercise, yeah? Legsy actually does enjoy icebreaking exercises. <laughs> How many ponies do you think the average Questly employee owns? It looks like you're twirling. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Roxa, you made a friend. That's great. Is this what friendship is? <laughs> I have a cunning score of Five. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know what that means. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're going to be building a team based on whoever uh, survives. He survives says, here? Oh, survives here, yes. Now? Yes, for the night. I'm so happy I came to this party. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're right, but uh, I don't like I'm it. I'm a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hole that's a trap, my friend, and that means you're going to have to draw with a blindfold on. What? <laughs> Jacob, it is incredible that you have ever held the title of artist. <laughs> <laughs> is that legal? Can we do that? Here's the question. Is that funny? Yes. yes.